I have indeed. So we've now managed to get to our crime scene. And you might be wondering why I'm standing so far away. Now, the reason I'm standing so far away from Senzo is because Senzo is where the tree is that was struck by lightning. And I'm at the first we can find debris from this tree. Now, we sort of roughly measured it out and it works out to about 30 yards or 27 meters from the tree is where the last piece of sort of debris is that we can find. And it's little pieces of wood and splinters that have basically been thrown from this tree as the lightning has hit it and has pushed on this, well, the force has hit the tree. So we've seen little bits blow off everywhere. And it's actually incredible to see what it looks like around here. It looks as though almost something like a hurricane has come through or a wood chipper, in fact, because there is just little bits of tree absolutely everywhere. Now you can see this is what one of the pieces is. There's a lot of other bigger pieces than this. Now this might have been carried by a bit of wind as well, but this is the little kind of bits of debris that are all over. It's just strewn throughout the bush. In fact, if we sit and we look around me where I'm standing, there's just little bits of red everywhere, which is all from this tree and from where the lightning hit. It is absolutely astounding to see the power. Now, of course, we know that there was a little diker here that unfortunately got hit by this lightning. So it is still here. We managed to find it earlier. Now, if I don't hook myself onto a tree, which will be good news. So it's still in the same place that it was. Now, for those of you that are a bit sensitive, I would suggest possibly looking away because it's not the most prettiest of scenes that we have with this little diker. But basically, you can see where this diker was hit by lightning. It is absolutely astonishing. There you can see the burnt fur. So the fur is absolutely singed away. Herbie and I did actually sniff this and it does smell like burnt hair. It's exactly what it sort of smells like. It's, it's got this kind of charred smell to it. And you can actually see the lightning kind of came along and all across the body. Now, it unfortunately would have died instantly from this. It's a massive strike that has hit here. And this poor little animal, unfortunately, must have not known what hit it. You can see that there's also kind of bits that have kind of come out of its nose and its mouth, which would be from the force of this lightning hitting it. What interests me, though, is that there are tracks for hyenas all over the place here, yet they haven't fed on this. So I wonder why they haven't fed on it. Maybe because of the lightning, it tastes different, or there's some sort of issue with it, but it certainly has not even been touched at all. But this is, can honestly say is the first time that I've seen such damage on an animal from lightning. I have seen animals die from lightning before. I've seen six different wildebeests that were struck by lightning that the lions were feeding on, but because the lions were there, you know, couldn't really get close to it and couldn't really see what was going on. This for me is an absolute first and I was chatting to Herbie about it and he says it's also the first time for him to actually see this kind of damage on an animal and actually still find it the next day so it's really quite a fascinating thing I can't believe the amount of burning that's taken place on it you would have thought that you know with the thicker fur we wouldn't have seen as much damage but you can definitely see how it kind of came in and it went rippled across its body and then out down the bottom to earth into the ground which is absolutely insane it's really quite it's sad but it is fascinating at the same time now this poor little diker who's been here for quite some time because if we look underneath the bush here so herbie and i went inside and had a little look but inside this little thicket is where this little diker was sleeping so there's actually fur and all kinds of other things that can show where it's been lying for multiple days it has a situation where you know, there obviously comes, uses this for a shady and, and secluded section where it can hide. And unfortunately, it was just under the wrong tree at the wrong time yesterday when it got stuck. Well, struck, should I say. It's also a very young animal, so it's hopefully there's not a parent out here looking for it. This is not a, a fully grown diker by any stretch of the imagination. It's a little baby. And so this is obviously the place that it was resting quite a bit. Right. Now, I'm going to probably move on and carry on. I've just actually seen a massive piece. So you can see the size of pieces that were being blown off by this lightning. It's absolutely insane. So while we kind of carry on and go and see what other interesting things we can find and see what else there is out there, let's go back across to Scotty D with a very playful little cub.